Hey growing people, welcome to the garden. Today I am showing you another potato update. And this bag kind of had me concerned because you can see the state of one of these plants here. The leaves started to turn yellow uh, about a week ago. Um, and this is, these are some of the, the plants in my 10 gallon grow bag. And you can see that they look like they're completely dead. And it really had me concerned because I knew that the weather had just turned really, really hot. It was about 90 degrees today. Uh, we've had a few 90 degree days. It's the end of April now. And that's a little bit early for it to be 90 degrees, but that's what we have. <laughs> so even though I planted these potatoes a lot earlier than I did last season when they were really struggling through the heat of summertime, uh, this one started to look like it was really not doing all that great. And I was wondering why. And then I went back to look at my notes and see when I planted these and it was almost three months ago so that would be back in february and in about 10 days it'll be a full three months and that's interesting because new potatoes grow and are ready to harvest at about 90 days and i know from growing potatoes last season that um when some of the plants start to die back like this, it can be time for the potatoes to be harvested. And I just, I didn't think of that because I harvested them so late last year. So this might just be an indication that they will be ready to harvest in about 10 days or so. So I hope that's the case. I'm going to wait and see if that is actually the case. I hope so. Um, these over here are not looking so terrible and I was starting to think that maybe I didn't water enough or maybe it got too hot really quickly and the plants got stressed but I haven't let these plants really dry out uh, even though it did get hot rather quickly and you're actually not supposed to water or you're supposed to stop watering these plants like two weeks before they're supposed to be harvested anyhow so I think I'm just gonna stop watering this one and <laughs> and hope for the best uh, that can be just part of a natural process because I did keep them watered enough and then the leaves were changing anyhow so it seems like they're on their own cycle their own growing cycle you know, they're just doing what they do naturally. So, and I can't change that and I can't help that. So I hope that is, I hope that's what's going on, <laughs> is my point. So I'm actually not going to water this anymore, I think, until I harvest it. And that should be fine. And another reason I was concerned is because this plant didn't flower. And I thought all potato plants flowered after last season when I got some really beautiful flowers off of my, I think my all blue potato or the Yukon Gold, one of those uh, two varieties uh, flowered last year and it was beautiful. So I got no flowers off of this and, but from my research I saw that not all potato plants flower so that is okay too. And I was also kind of concerned <laughs> thinking that there's a lot of concern going on, I know, especially for a new new gardener. Um, you know, I was thinking that maybe these were diseased in some way, so I kind of like scooted the bag away from my other potato bags, and that shouldn't be the case either. I'm going to go with, it's almost time for them to be harvested. So that's my decision. <laughs> that's I've decided that's the answer. So I'm actually gonna move this bag back over towards the other bags and while I'm here I might as well uh, show you my other potatoes so this is the rose gold and it's my first time growing most of these potatoes as you as you know so now I know kind of what the cycle of 
this rose gold potato is. And I bought these specifically because they're supposed to be able to handle warm, hot, dry weather. So that includes the rose gold variety and this Adirondack blue. These were all planted at the same time, um, almost three months ago. And I know that this one is a mid, it's supposed to be a mid-season uh, variety. So that's around 90 to 100 days to harvest, I believe. And you can also see on this Adirondack blue plant that some of the leaves are yellowing. And again, I haven't really let these dry out. So it's not, I'm just testing to see if there's moisture here. It's not, um, I don't think it's a weather issue. I don't think it's something that I could uh, fix if the leaves are starting to turn yellow and there's no other problem that I can see. It might just mean they're starting to get ready for harvest. So some of these are late varieties. I forget which ones, it's in my notes. Uh, this is Butte. And it's interesting that all of the leaves on different plants of different varieties all kind of started to change color at the same time. And that is why I initially thought that it was a watering issue. And I'm still hoping that it's not. This one is Elba, and there's only a few, there's only a few yellow leaves on this one. They haven't grown very tall, I guess. They're maybe about, I don't know, five or six inches. I know my varieties last year grew at least a foot or so. And this is this is my good old russet from the grocery store, along with I actually forget which ones these are. One of them is a Yukon Gold. One of them is an all blue potato, and these are really small, and they've just stayed small. Not sure why. And this is my newest bag. And these are from my harvest last year of all blue potatoes and Yukon Golds. And which is which we will just have to see when I harvest them. And these are growing nicely and they didn't turn yellow. So, and I water these all the same on the same day at the same time and the same amount. So that also kind of leads me to believe that uh, it's not a watering issue, that my leaves are turning yellow. So let's cross our fingers and hope that that is actually accurate. And I'm going to end this video by watering my plants, um, all except for the rose gold, because I'm waiting for it to be ready for harvest. Okay, that is my potato update. If you like what you saw or you're learning something, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know. And if you want to join this growing journey, start by growing this channel and hit that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next video. Until then, grow something good.